Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Tweet Talk. We are back to chat with members of the Silver MLB community after some DraftKings Rainmakers talk last week. And today I brought on a guest who has leveraged his background in analytics and data science to help others win at Silver MLB. He has almost 500 Silver MLB cards in his gallery and is the creator of Bat Vantage. Please welcome AJ Alejandrino, a.k.a. Yo No Se Soccer. AJ, how's it going? Good, man. That's the first you we didn't even plan that and you got that on the spot. <laughs> That's good. You got my whole name. Yeah, yeah. and, and you don't know say soccer. It, it, it was a play on um like don't say soccer, right? Yo, no. And then um anyway, like I don't know soccer. That's what that means. You don't know say. Yeah, so. I was gonna I was gonna ask you because my my minimal Spanish um tells me that yo yo no say is I don't know and then yeah. soccer. Soccer, yeah. so so, so I, I knew that. So that's what it is. I knew that like, one. I liked it. That's uh, it's creative. Yeah, I man. Like that. <laughs> that's how I started. Um, so rare got me to just have this passion for football or soccer, and but I didn't know. <laughs> like I had no idea. I was just like I don't know. Like yeah. And 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 I'm new to social media, so I needed a name apparently, and I, I didn't want to use my name initially, right? So I'm like, well, I don't want people to like search me, and I don't know, I don't know soccer, so here I am. <laughs> and now it's become this whole MLB thing, thank goodness, and hopefully continue with other sports. So yeah, it's stuck. I like that. So I was actually going to ask you: Is that how you got started into so rare? Was it was it soccer back in the day, and then eventually uh, transitioned into MLB? Oh yeah, oh yeah. As a matter of fact, um, if it wasn't for MLB, I would be. I mean, wait, like I, I'd be, I'd be like doing nothing but football. Like I. It, just Sora has this thing where like I mean I became a fan now of like rando teams that, that are now like in the second division, right? I now have friends, I mean literally worldwide, that uh, you know, we ping each other and I'm like, all right, so when when you're in St. Louis, you know, try some of our culinary okay, we have fried ravioli. We're not like the culinary, you know, epic center of the world, but like, you know, like I could go to Spain, like I could go to, to to the Netherlands, and and I was telling my wife, I said, hey, look, I know a guy, you know, like in Italy, <laughs> right? Like, so that's how it started, right? Like now I'm I'm a fan of all these different teams, of these random people uh, that play in these teams. Like I know their babies' names, you know what I mean, and I know when they're probably not gonna get a DNP. Um, and same thing applies with MLB, you know, like I, I wasn't actually, I never played fantasy baseball until Soraya said, we are going to do MLB. Did I know what, what Soraya MLB would look like? No, I just said, take my money, you know, like that meme, just here we go. Right. Um, I don't know what it's going to look like. As a matter of fact, I even fire sold one of my favorite players that could have gone for you know, one ETH or something crazy. And I fire sold them because I, I wanted to, I thought Sora MLB would like start off a little early. They didn't, um, understandably so. Like, like you know, they, they wanted to do it after, I think it was like the All-Star game. Uh, but that's how excited I was. And that excitement has sustained because I think it's best in class. I think there's no fantasy baseball platform or game that even remotely comes close to it. Yeah. And it's not because I'm biased. I'm pretty objective. <laughs> you know, if, if it was terrible, yeah. I'd say it's terrible, right? <laughs> no, I, I agree with you. And and I did want to ask you about uh, Bat Vantage that I mentioned in the row. Uh, some come on here and, and say that they use uh, Bat Vantage when making decisions for their team. So do you want to tell people exactly what uh, Bat Vantage is and what made you want to get involved with making this solar MLB content? Well, A... I never once in my life ever thought I'd be making content for, for other people. B, I still don't think I make content. I just do what I would otherwise be doing for myself because I I personally need help because um, it, I don't know what we're going to talk about with my gallery. Most people will see in my gallery like, man, this guy's gallery stinks, right? Like, yes, it does. And that's why I need an advantage, right? Because most people want an edge, right? Most people don't have time or, or they say they don't have time. Um, most people want simple things, uh, and I fit all of those, right? I need an edge. I don't have time. 
I need something that I can just look to that's simple enough to where it's like, okay, it's color coded. Okay. Red means yay. Blue means meh. Right. And then, but, but I also need it to be like usable for me. Right. I need a, a an objective scientific way to let me know whether or not someone is going to get more plate appearances because in fantasy games, the volume is king. Right. But it's not just volume because it has to be a particular kind of volume, like for, for you to like actually win big, right? Um, it has to be an advantaged kind of volume. So I needed a scientific, more predictable way to see if I should start a player. That's all that is, right? And if they actually start or they get more plate appearances, can they actually take advantage of that, right? It's like, it's one thing to have volume, but if you're like, you know, in, in NFL terms, if you're that one yard guy, but you can't actually push through, what was that about? Right? Like, who cares? That was a waste, wasted snap. So the same thing with MLB, where it's just like, well, I have a bunch of T3 cards. I need to, I need a tool for me, myself, so that I could have a gauge of who to play and when. And that's how it came about. And and more and more people caught on to it. Um Unfortunately, or fortunately, a lot of those people have way better cards than me, and and they're kicking my a, and that's cool too, right? Because um, on that same note, like there's a lot of people that didn't even know. Um, going back to like why I feel like I have acquaintances worldwide now. Um, same thing on MLB. There's a lot of people that didn't know baseball, had no idea, and needed a way to to be like, okay, I don't know baseball. What should I know? And I just said, okay, well, baseball is a numbers game. And they're like, oh, no, no, no. Numbers are too hard. I'm not a numbers guy. Are you colorblind? No. Okay, great. Because red, you target those. Blue, probably less, right? And if it's a left-handed bat, go with the opposite bat. What does that mean? Well, if it's a left-handed pitcher, then you look at the batters, scroll to the right, look at the batters, that have red all over their name when they are against left-handed pitchers. Can you do that? Yes. Awesome. And then, uh, ironic or incidentally, um, <laughs> some of these people legit have like five times the podium I have. I've only gotten it, I don't know, three, whatever times, right? Like five times that. And I'm just like, I'm not helping you no more, man. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But, um, but that's how Bat Vantage uh, came about. I want I wanted a way for people to have a passion for Sora, to have a passion for baseball, and to not ask me, hey, who do I start? I'm not telling you who to start. Because first, and, and I'm sure you get this tons, where it's like, who do I start, Hunter? And then you tell them because, and, and you even tell them probably like, like your process behind it, right? But all they'll hear is, okay, Hunter says this, 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 and this, and then, Baseball gods, you know, being baseball gods, they're comical. Hunter, the stuff that he said failed. Therefore, Hunter doesn't know what he's doing, right? <laughs> so I wanted a way where it's just like, I'm not telling you that, but I will tell you why I picked this per uh, this particular person. And then you figure it out and you go out and fish on your own. And that's kind of like, 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 that's where I would, I would love for people someday when you and I are all old and gray, um, Hunter, like, oh, I got a podium because, like, you know, Hunter and AJ, like, let me know, like, red is good <laughs> against <laughs> right at batters. You know what I mean? Like, they, they can tell their grandkids, like, I now know baseball. Like, I'm not ignorant anymore. I, which, yeah. you know, speaking of so rare in, in general, I think that's how we're actually going to convert all of these billions of eyeballs because we're spending so much on ads and actually get them to stay and sustain. So that's part of it. Yeah, no, I was, I was gonna use the fishing analogy. Uh, it's, it's all about teaching people how to fish and not just giving them the fish, right? And uh, yeah, I, yeah, I can man. see that a lot with my content. Um, so I see with Bat Vantage, you use Excel a lot. You, you know, you have the, the color coding, which makes it easy. Uh, I think you also saw you have a, a sub stack that you created that you wanna um, start putting more written content on there. So how can people uh, get in involved? Uh, what was the best way to get involved with, with Bat Advantage? Bat Advantage. Well, the only reason I have Substack is because of you and Nick, <laughs> Nick Mitch, the Ether Sport, um, because you guys are brilliant and I'm just trying to follow your tales, right? Like 
that's the Appreciate reason that. why. And one of the reasons, um, and I haven't written there yet, but I will soon. And the idea behind that is to dig deeper into exactly what we just talked about, right? Like, here's why I picked this player. And to be perfectly honest with you, I haven't even, like, you know, we just met today. So, uh, but one of the things I wanted to, uh, to do in there is anytime you post something or anytime Nick posts something, because you guys are so good at, at, at like making it like, it's like clockwork, right? And like valuable stuff that people should read about. So people should subscribe. If they haven't, you should. Um, I do. I read it. As a matter of fact, it's, it's made even easier, right? Substack has it so that you just play it. You could play it on double speed if you want, like, like I do, as you can tell, I speak fast sometimes. Um, <laughs> and, and so I wanted to take what you guys already put out as amazing and good and just put a data twist to it. Like, you know what, this is what they wrote. And, and now you're just fighting this out. So I'm sorry. <laughs> This is what they wrote, um, and this is why it makes sense statistically speaking. There's actually like underlying metrics that support these these guys' thoughts. It's not just because oh, I think it's like ranked high. I think it's ranked low. Well, no, there's actually like it's actually underpinned by data, right? It's it's mm -hmm. like it's that kind of thing. So that's what I will probably use it for. I actually don't have an idea, but that's one of the million ideas that that went through my head as you just asked that question. I like that. Yeah. And, and Substack is great. I will say uh, the, the X algorithm does not like Substack. You post a link on there and um, nope. it will, it will get nerfed <laughs> quite a bit. So that part is unfortunate, but uh, yep. like every time, like, or, or YouTube, like, like would I post something? It's like um, 10 people saw this post. I'm like, awesome. It only took three hours. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not great for, for Substack on X, but um, it is good to, uh, you know, get some subscribers on there and then they can be on the emailing list and, and, and get yeah. it straight in their email inbox, which is nice. Um, all right. Good stuff there. I do want to move to, uh, your gallery. I mentioned in the intro that you have, oh boy. uh, 465 cards. That's right. I totaled it up. Uh, you have over 200 in limited, almost 200 in rare 18 super rares. Uh, so I'm curious, what, what was your initial, uh, investment into uh, the game, if you don't mind sharing it. And how have you built up this gallery? Well, my initial investment came from selling a lot of football cards or soccer cards and um, and whatever thresholds I actually, thankfully, continue to gain from the football side. I basically just buy, I, I use that th those funds to, um, to fund my MLB addiction um, and and initially, I started off, I think I, we already mentioned even today, um, that I started off with a bunch of T3s. And the reason I started off with a bunch of T3s was because, well, I just I just could not spend two ETH on an, an Acuna or, or, or like these T2 or T3 car, or T1 elite cards. Uh, plus, I was thinking, okay, well, it's a, it's a data-driven game. I'm a data guy. And SoRare does specialist then underdogs and all of that and baseball lends itself to that awesome i'm gonna get these t3s and i'm going to just money ball myself um up top into an acuna get get them so after after that epic failure that's when bat vantage as we mentioned came to be but that's how my uh, that's how my gallery is currently constructed um as a matter of, i haven't really gone out and have had to buy a lot of cards because I'm winning enough to where I'm just like, okay, let me just see where this project goes. And I, I do believe that it's going to go to go to the moon. Right. Um, and that's why I haven't sold out yet. No, I'm kidding. Um, I haven't sold because, you know, I, I do believe in it. And so um, that's how my gallery is. I have apparently 400 cards. I just found out from someone and these 400 cards, what is it? There's 12 competitions that, that, that I'm eligible in, 12 times seven, whatever that number is, right? Can't use all of them. So um, so what I've been able to focus on are are like those mini stacks. And, and I think you and, and Nick has um, has written about it. And so I'm taking I'm following that lead, right? Like like create some, some mini stacks. So can I afford the, the elite players? No. But can I afford like one every now and then? Like like to stack together or, or, or like a, a T2 instead of like el an elite. Well, two T2s stacked together, maybe I could earn myself into an elite. 
for like a couple of blue cards, right? Mm -hmm. So that's been my my tactic. Not because it was my grandiose grand scheme plan. It's because that's what I had to do. Because I had to start off with T3 and I'm, I'm money balling my way into it, which is amazing too, right? It, it, in and of itself. I'm not I'm not saying like I'm amazing, but like it's an amazing story that so rare we have an ability in so rare that that you don't have to start off with like a billion dollars right we're, we're not all like steve right we're not all steve <laughs> that can drop like a bunch of commas and then like kick everyone's behinds right <laughs> most of us are just normal people uh like right before this call like like i was late because i'm like hey man i have to pay the bills and uh i'm on a call right so <laughs> i'm gonna be late sorry hunter um that's what most of us are and and most of us also are not brilliant like clamp or or like alex or or even you and nick right and 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 so we need to just make do with with these smaller t2s or t3s maybe have one t1s right that's always in there like i, I have a kyle tucker he will never not be in the lineup because he's one of my favorite players first of all and and his i still think he's underrated but which is baffling, but um, yeah. So that's been my tactic so far, if I if I even have one. Yeah, no, that, that makes a lot of sense. Um, so I've seen on Twitter you you do um, some snippets of of teams, team breakdowns, and 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 talking about you know opposing pitcher matchups or, or offensive statistics. Uh, you mentioned stacking as part of the strategy. So how do you go about uh, building teams? Are you looking at advanced stats, um, and and how do you? How do you go about uh, constructing a team uh, for each game week? I go through the same thing that I put out there. So that bat vantage, that that, that one one tab, that one page that has all of the red and blues, and then like on the right side has the batters. I use that same thing hmm. w w when I build my my stuff, and um, it's kind of no secret. Like sometimes I post it, but I've missed complete lineups at least 10 times or 12 15 whatever many times and so and, and the reason I'm, I'm sharing that is because i don't have time right i need some quick thing and i think there might be some kind of perception based on some some of my dms that i go through like six hours in the lab I and mean, i'm just like thinking about oh this you know this kind of scenario statistically do 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 right no <laughs> I don't have time, and that's why I use that same thing that that I that that, that I provide out there, right? Um, because I need something quick, right? I just need just just give me a color, right? Excel, just give me a color, and I'll go off of that color. And if I have a player within said color, then I'm gonna place them in a higher priority, right? And, and, and of course, I have a, a I have a sheet that has all of my players, and then has like you know broken out by by columns, kind of like Steve has, right? Of like who who I like, who I don't like. And then based off of that, that's what I do. I, I don't do anything fancy, right? And then when I'm in a real pinch, I'll sorry RFP, right? Um, our, our our boy Alex, like like I've used him like like purely that the, the app mm -hmm. at least twice. And I don't know how I did, but I'm sure I did better than, you know, the normal, right? But but that's just not um, nothing against projections. It's just that's not the way I'm training myself to be. I want to train myself to 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 know my craft, right? If I really believe in in these things that that I'm providing, then then I should be using that, and then generating results based off of that, right? Mm -hmm. um, and and if you know, like Nick does, so ranks like that, then then you should die by that sword, so to speak, right? So that's my um, that's my lineup decision strategy. All the stuff that I that I put out there now, the the little snippets, um, those are made specifically for. Well, first of all, for those who have those cards, which I don't usually, um, but those little snippets, it, it's it's like the meat and potatoes, right? So I think the one from today was um, people who are batters who are right-handed batters who are. Um, facing two left-hand pitchers, well, that's an auto advantage, and that's something that that doesn't take a rocket science, right, or a scientist to to see. Oh, 
who are right-handed bats facing these two left-handed pitchers. Okay, well, that's an auto advantage. Which, which pitchers, which set of those two left-handed pitchers are weakest? Okay, go to that one then. That's it. Like, that's – and so far, fortunately slash unfortunately, it's worked out really well. <laughs> unfortunately, because, like, I'm like, dude, why are you such a hypocrite? Like, why don't you just buy those cards? Like, you have it. <laughs> like, like, you have the data. Why don't you just do it? Um, but but I'm just not in that in that position yet to 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 just you know buy whatever cards I want. But for those that that have it right, like um, a lot of people, unfortunately, good good for them, have listened and have purchased, and you know like the ROI was great, good for them. Side yeah. note though, Hunter, as we know, as we just mentioned earlier, like sometimes it fails, right? Like just not financial advice from Hunter and AJ. <laughs> Right, even though that sounds like a financial company, Hunter Langley, Age Alejandrino, and LLC, right? But no, yeah, you know, definitely not financial advice. Uh, there is some variance in baseball, but it does sound like you you make it pretty easy on yourself uh, with the tools that you use. Um, I've seen you you reference advanced stats uh, before. Um, maybe you're not as deep into into the advanced stats, but is there one that that you like to use? I've seen you use Sierra XFIP. Maybe some stuff plus. I've seen you talk about that. Is there is there one statistic yeah. that you look at uh, specifically when tar targeting players? No, because I look at five. <laughs> <laughs> so so okay, and, and and I'm sorry if if this isn't hopefully it answers um, some some of the questions you, you just brought up, but um, I I know that I just mentioned that oh well I don't really like deep dive into the stats. Well, what I mean by that is that the sheet that we have already does that right like yeah. so you mentioned stuff plus Eno Saris's um pitching plus model is one of the best if not the best right um except for maybe like Nick Pollock's um like their PLV model right but I currently don't super oh I don't want to say that Nick I do subscribe someday <laughs> right um, um so aside that it's the best and I'm gonna do a lot I I plan on doing a lot of back testing, just like um, last season, where um, I tested FIP, I tested um, XFIP, Sierra, like all of these underlying um, like metrics for for pitchers. I'm going to do the same thing for Stuff Plus and Pitching Plus because now it's available on Fangraphs. Hat tip to them. Thank you very much. Um, so, and and the question I'm trying to ask, I'm trying to to like really get a solid answer on is does this matter because if it because if it doesn't matter i don't want to do it right um does xfip actually matter well yes right that's tried tested um many people have tested it i've tested it um xfip is amazing for predicting next season that's why i got blake snell even though like he had a rough start i was like i wasn't happy as a padres fan but i was like great i bet you he's gonna dip so low and then he's gonna kill it guess what happened that's what happened because um baseball evens itself out right and and i actually i think i even had a post like a year ago i'm just like this is why i'm buying snell expect do 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 right that kind of stuff um and then fip for pitchers um fip it's like the best predictor game week to game week um in terms of of like how well they're gonna do. Now, is FIP made for Sora MLB? No, but based on testing, and what I mean by testing is um, I would take that pitcher's FIP for that week before the game week starts and then test it against how they actually did. And based off of that, FIP was one of the best. But here's the here's the kicker. I'm a data guy. I want to find like this amazing new formula, right? Um, but th the one of the things that had the highest predictive value was K minus BB. And I was like, oh, come on, man. That's it? K minus BB? That, that's it? That's like a public? I could do that like on my own, right? On, on our own Excel stat. Like we don't even need fan graphs. <laughs> but that's it. Like, But little uh, little things like that, I'm like, okay, well, if that's what matters, then that's what I'll put on the on our I say our the the Sora MLB our community Google Sheets like there is a and I'm not trying to market this man like but but for those 
who who are interested um we have it set up so that you know it by game you know it well ahead of time like uh this was for the entire year you could have planned out who to buy and when um i did and it worked thankfully because we know that for example we were just talking about k minus bb well i know that this pitcher is going to face a whole lot of mm, i don't know um, good offenses or bad offenses and opposite for for the batters right i know that the batters are about to face some really good pitchers um i could probably sell high during this time and 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 that's one of the content actually recently right like like um i just did one on like hey you know it's the end of the season you, you could take advantage this way a lot of it panned out thankfully i didn't think it would honestly right but it panned out but that's what i use stats for it's it's again selfishly it's for me <laughs> right yay if people can can take advantage of it good for you awesome i'm happy for you legitimately but it's really for me because i need a way an objective way to just be like okay this is good this is bad right so yeah. um so those are some of the stats that, that that i go through for for the pitcher and then the you you already mentioned it but for the batters it's woba it's iso um, isolated power for those of you that don't know um because and and then i go through barrel and then wrc plus right and and those are pairings right so meaning um wrc plus and woba those are like hitting ability for lack of better terms right like a player's ability to hit certain pitchers and it has to be by left or right-handed pitchers right that's how that um like that's our edge and then we have barrel which isn't by left or right-handed pitcher but we do have iso um isolated power for, for those of you that don't know so you pair these two things together and it's simple simple math right are they good in one and are they good in the other if you have these two then more than likely they'll be able to take advantage of that pitcher that's it i mean it's i know it's so simplistic but to your point like baseball has variance right but but if anyone wanted to actually deep dive it's not that deep right <laughs> take these four like do yeah. they have if it's only the the hitting ability like Arai is right well he, he's recently found power then expect it to just be like a bunch of little dink and dunks right but if you have this and that right like also power then expect something like huh you know what they might actually be able to take advantage of that yeah simple right simple math this plus yeah. that yeah that was a really good uh explanation of those stats because I, I referenced those same ones in, in my newsletter and on the show i do with nick yep. and there's probably a lot of people out there that don't actually know what those advanced stats are um and i don't think i ever went to actually explain them so you, you did a great job with that um yeah you mentioned wrc plus I, I love that one just a good um statistic for for the teams that you know can generate the most runs and players that generates yep. can generate runs so um i think that's a very important stat to look at and i, I highlight that a lot um yeah shout out fan graphs that's uh that's that's my favorite uh baseball statistical site i'm always on there uh feel free to sponsor my my newsletter fan graphs if you're listening um i'm just kidding but uh <laughs> i'm not all right <laughs> i'm not kidding fan graphs please do so thanks thanks <laughs> um all right my next question to you is about uh contest selection um i've talked to a few people on here that say they prioritize uh, whether it be rare pro or um, rare all-star and they have different reasons for doing so so what is the the contest that you're entering where you're putting your most optimal players i have i don't know if it's been changed but i used to prioritize the the mixed so so the pro right yeah. um, so um i'm sorry not not the pro but like the all-star okay right? so mixed red and mixed yellow mix red yeah. and blue right Th those kinds of competitions for for those of you new new to so rare because again i don't have that that many like t1s and t2s so i have to make sure that they're in the best lineup um and recently it seems like and, and i would argue probably the right move uh those mixed competitions now have lower re rewards and because of that, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to a have to figure out how to get full red lineups or full blue, et cetera, 
lineups so that I could um, prioritize pro. And then um, since, again, I don't have the best cards on, on the platform, I'm having to prioritize just NL or AL. Less so with NL because I don't have a Brave stack. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's, that's kind of how I decide. And I think, ironically, though, well, not ironically, but like most of my podiums all grand three or four of them. Um, oh, look at that. We, we went from two to, I think, four. This is like elevating. Like by the end of the podcast, I, I would have podiumed 10 times. Um, <laughs> but all like however many, I think it was from straight NL or AL. And once I started noticing that, I started asking the question of, okay, now why do I keep winning these ones? Well, I think it's because a lot of people deprioritize those, right? So I'm like, well, a podium is a podium. So why don't I just start putting better players in there? So um, the past month, I've, that's what I've been testing. Let me test out um, focusing on AL specifically because again nl is just unless you have the the great stacks you, you you know like nick can take advantage of it i don't know if you can uh, do, do you have brave stack uh no i did not we'll uh we'll you priced know? out of that one uh, i wish okay. we dominate every week <laughs> no, exactly right and you don't even need to look at any sheets right you just start <laughs> right you just yeah there you go uh, oh you wear atl start um <laughs> yeah so right now i'm, I'm focusing on um al and I wish I could focus on um, on the super rare um, all star, but now a lot of the a lot of those players who who could do um, super rare pro are starting to focus on the all star, and they have their reasons. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go into it, but um, but suffice to say, once that started happening, well, now I'm like, well, there goes my advantage. Like I'm not going to use my best red card um in that competition because i'm just gonna waste it because these guys have blue cards of my red cards and they're even better so yeah. um so now i've i've really been priced into like al only nl only or um rare pro got it yeah i feel like whenever i ask someone that question they always give me a different answer i've heard now from you uh you focus on al i've heard pro i've heard all stars. So everyone's got different uh, priority uh, that that they focus on in contest selection. The interesting stuff there. Uh, so I want to ask but you. You've written about game theory, right? You both you yeah. and Nick, right? Like yeah. game theory is and and you didn't dive too deep into it um, in in one of the most recent podcasts. Although I was like, come on, man, dive into it. I want to learn. <laughs> um, but that's what it's about. Like we all have different budgets. We all have different cards different rewards. So we have to do it that way. Like, so, so even like, I'd love for you to do like, a, and, and you've done DFS. So it's like, you, you know how important game theory is. And now that we're going to have billions of people come in next season, like game theory is going to be even more important. Right. So I would love for you and Nick or Alex to, to, to like just deep dive into that. And then just like your thoughts on that. Yeah. Just no, a, I, I, little request. I enjoy game theory, uh, discussion. So I think, I think that's a good idea. I think I will talk about that. Um, especially the limited tier, it, it's interesting, um, you know, yeah. trying to compete against a bunch of different teams and, and that's when stacking really is important and, and trying to be different. So yeah, I think, I think I will do some, so maybe some off season, uh, content and game theory to, to get ready for next season. Yes, please. Um, so I want to ask you a little bit about the postseason. Uh, we do have the regular season ending in just a few days on Sunday. I'm actually going to post this uh, next week so by the time it's published the season will be over so uh what is do you have a playoff strategy are you trying to sell some cards uh, of players that aren't going to make the playoffs are you trying to buy some some guys that are maybe going to go to the world series uh, what are you looking at now for the playoffs in theory the ideal thing to do would be what you and nick talked about last podcast so for those of you that haven't heard it there's a really good insight really good strategies on, on that one so go back and and listen to it but that's what i would ideally do right like like take advantage of the market like th this isn't just a this isn't just a fantasy game this is like really truly owning your game right it, which is incidentally sore as stick right we're really like true managers right or not managers but like what do you call them gms 
GM, right? Yeah. And so if I was a GM, why would I not sell these players high when I know that it's currently at a premium? Why wouldn't I take advantage of that? And then take advantage of like, it's insane. One of my recent purchases was uh, Goldschmidt and and it was one of these random ones. I'm just like, oh, let me look at Sawyer data because that's what we do, right? And I was like, Goldie for eight dollars? What? That's stupid. And it and it and it was like last second. So I was just like, yeah, you know, like like smash that. Like of course. And I was like so proud of myself. And I was like, yeah, man, I finally like because I I'm terrible at the market, terrible. And this is about to show why I'm terrible. Um, and then. <laughs> And then uh, went on the Sora FP Discord, like like proud, and then and then I was like, oh wait a minute, oh no, that's just where the market is, <laughs> and I was like, okay, so a I wasn't smart, but b it doesn't make it a bad choice, because do we really think? Oh, so, and 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 again, I bought right before that I bought a, forgetting his name, a burger from 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 the Marlins. Yep. <laughs> This is a true story. It was like 2 a.m. And I was hungry and, and, and I was making a thumbnail. And, and I posted it as a joke, but it's not actually a joke. It was real. <laughs> and, and I was making a thumbnail for, for this, this this bat vantage thing, right? And I was like, this guy's going to have like a really good matchup going into the postseason. And they might have matchup. This, this is going to make sense. And then again, it was last second. And I was like, uh, I'm just going to do it. And it was the same price as I, I bought Goldschmidt. <laughs> Let's think about that. Let's Seriously, let's think about that. I bought a burger and I bought gold and they were the same price, right? <laughs> so anyway, like puns aside, but like that's stupid, right? Does that make sense to anybody? Now I know like I'm a Cardinals fan and yeah, maybe, sure. But objectively speaking, like let's yeah. think about that, right? That is the strategy now for though. And, and that's the interesting thing. Um, a lot of people think that they're now or they're, they're now out of the the fantasy game, but that's the beauty of like our game, right? Like, yeah, sure, you're you you've, you've probably been out for like a month, right? Out of the fantasy home leagues, that kind of thing. But we're just getting started. Now is actually the best time to get into Zora. I just mentioned how I bought a Goldschmidt. Um, I think it's like five times less than what I bought him for a month ago, or a month and a half, two months, whatever it was, right? And that's why, mm -hmm. like, I, I just snap bought because I was like, no way. Just paid like 0.03 for this, right? <laughs> and then, um, yeah, come to find out, I wasn't that smart. Um, goes back to you don't need to be that smart. I just accidentally bought something that is probably going to generate a lot of rewards. Actually, as a matter of fact, you know what? That might be like a future content. Stupid buys that ended up being smart, you know? Like, Ooh, this like is going to be one of those things. Yes, please do that. That's that's another request from AJ. Thanks. <laughs> I like that. I'll have to uh, pencil that into my content schedule. Uh, good stuff there. Uh, yeah, Jake Berger, uh, great last name, but um, maybe uh, not the the best player necessarily. Uh, sometimes he has spike weeks, but not compared um, to Goldie, at least at the very least, right? Yeah. And we're being respectful, right? I could not hit a ball as 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 far as Jake, right? Guaranteed. Yeah. Right. And, you know, I, I'd break my quad too, Jake. Uh, hopefully you, <laughs> you, you return back soon um, from your injury. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I want to ask you a little bit about um, some, maybe some criticisms you have of so rare. We did see so rare NBA announce some new changes to collection counts, collection scores. Um, do you, is there any changes that you want to see about uh, the game uh, maybe for next season and beyond? This is when the Sawyer team should turn off their this this <laughs> podcast because this podcast is terrible. Anyway, so you you can just go ahead and and just turn it off. Especially since Hunter just asked me a question that I'm not prepared for. So whatever's <laughs> gonna come out of my mouth, I reserve the right to redact it. A, B, I might be wrong. But C, I might not be. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm on the fence. Um, some of the things that that um I the game's great. Hands down, there's no none none like it as as we mentioned. Um, with that said, with that as the backdrop and that as the expectation, I think it could be so much more. I think that we, as a community and and even uh, Soraya as a team, 
could do so much more to take advantage of these things that no other platform, no other game has, no other, well, literally no one else has this, this license that, that we have, right? I mm-hmm. think there are things that we could, we, sorry, team and the community, community can execute on, right? Like things like, okay, I'm not going to get into too much detail, but suffice to say, there's there are novels upon novels in the general Discord channel that have not been executed on, right? Um, and I think that needs to change quickly. I think that if we are we as a project want to have a, a good solid user base. Now I'm not talking about like eyeballs. I'm not talking about whoa, we did this ad campaign. Actually, we've, we've done it for a year. We've done this ad campaign. And um, Kate on, on the Solar Data um, episode recently mentioned how so many signups, right? That's awesome. But what do signups mean to us as a project? Oh, my son is here. <laughs> did you guys know that there's a new Power Ranger? That is awesome. Big boy. Awesome. Hold on. <laughs> no worries. We can edit this out, man. But yeah, there's no no problem. Hey, I'm talking about baseball with, with my friend. Um, can you hey. um, how's it going? Do you have a baseball take? No. <laughs> well, his take every um every rewards day, his take is if it's not a cardinal baseball player, it's not a good reward. That's his line. So um I like that. All right, but he's going to go in, and I'll watch that with you later, okay? No, Dada. Okay, hold on. <laughs> All right, just real-life people talking about real-life stuff, right? <laughs> so where was I? Yeah, so my hope is that my, my biggest hope for – for us as a project is to be able to take advantage of this off season because it's not an off season. Um, I think there's a perception that if we build ads, they will come, they will, but will they stay? They will, but will they pay? They will, but will they actually sustain through some of the shenanigans that we are inevitably gonna, gonna go through as a young project? they will be at some point be upset at something that the team did that the you and i said right and and guided them wrong whatever right are we cultivating are we as a project doing things to cultivate that kind of user base and i would say no um we could simply look at oh god uh, i'm not gonna name name but like let's just suffice to say what are we we sorry mlb um, putting out there in terms, you know, social media wise, or just even on private discords or whatever, like, what are we um, positioning ourselves as? Is it as a joke? Like, do we think that the fantasy community um, see Sora MLB as something to actually um, spend time on, spend money on? I would say no, right? And the reason I'm saying no, it, it's it's not because I'm being critical. It's because I get tons of DMs um, because I market the crap out of uh, sorry MLB uh, privately and in some of the communities. And it's like, no, this is just a gimmick. I'm like, how do you figure it's a gimmick? Well, it's you know, and then they'll give their reasons. Um, and some of the more um, fantasy land type people, they're like, look, I I look at your account and it's just cute. I'm just like, we're sponsored by MLB. What what do you what do you talk? What do you mean cute? But what they mean by that is that if it's a fantasy game, then why are there no why is why is the project not helping people excel in fantasy? Does that make sense? Like yeah. like it's it's to that effect, right? So it's like, oh, okay, well, if we ever want to get these people, then we're going to have to change our facade to be more like, yeah, we actually know what we're doing. 
we're actually a fantasy game that that we know what we're doing right like this is a real fantasy game this isn't like some gimmick thing right and then mm -hmm. um but understandably right now it's a young project and we want the casual fans right now we want the the maybe you don't even know baseball right we want to be that end all for anyone that wants to even try baseball which is fine and good but what the question then becomes what are we doing to uh to cater to those people to, to cultivate that passion for first of all so rare right um because they 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 need to like so rare and then b hopefully they also like mlb right and right now even if the answer is, well, there's a big community on the general discord that that helps out. You're right. Yeah. And Hunter and, you know, Nick and Alex and I's DMs are filled because of it. Right. Um, but it's just us three. How are we going to cater to how are we going to answer a million people's questions? You can't. Right. So what are we as a project doing to actually provide value to these casual fans? Because I think th there's a based on mm, based on what's happened in the past. I think there's this feeling or thought where it's just like, well, we're getting the casual fans. That's success, right? But um, if you're not actually doing more for the casual fans after they get in, ex except for hey, this is my lineup great what does that have to do with a casual fan right like mm -hmm. awesome like that's a really sweet lineup tell me why awesome that is um i am really glad that there's a new competition uh what does that mean for me as a new user um and i'm not talking about oh onboarding um it's funny like the the general account um there was like this 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 big nft um account that that said hey can someone tell me about and um and th this is in a microcosm what's what's happening can someone tell me about sorry mlb and then the answer from our main account 24 hours later 22 to be exact was here's the link it was the one-on-one you know youtube one-on-one thing right mm -hmm. you can't treat people like that or you can't treat new users like that or people that are curious about the product I, I then responded with like a, a long, longer thing that, that, that was within their context and, and, and whatnot. But like, that is not how we're going to grow this project. I don't have a Harvard degree. I don't have, you know, whatever fancy schmancy, you whatever thing, right? So take that for what it is, viewers, um, young and old. Uh, but what I do know is that I've been invested literally and figuratively in SoRare. Right in both sports, well now about three um, because that and NBA looks fire. Um, but I do know I, I am, you know, grassroots. I am in the thick of things when it comes to the actual people that are actually converting from casual fan to now like, like paying and kicking my A in the leader leaderboard for that matter. Right, so I have a lot of experiences with that and my experiences um them saying that hey how come sora doesn't help and i'm having to say well nick does alex does like why don't you go why don't you go there but it's different it's different mm -hmm. when it comes from from the team itself um and and it's a different facade of of just caring caring for your community right like it's it's no longer a bait and switch right like hey check this out, go to the market and then good luck. Right. Yeah. Like logically speaking, or, 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 or let's all just be logical, right? Has a business ever gotten a huge massive user base, not take care of them and just say, but we have a cash wallet now though. Right. Like now our user interface is awesome. Therefore they will stay. No, like you have to cultivate like in in some ways shape or form something right like uh that's what th that's my only critical well not my only but like that's one of my main concerns i'll put it out there like i'm mm -hmm. concerned like we're not creating and thankfully 
you and Nick and Alex are creating content so that people don't forget us, right? Because during November, and then the, uh, there's a December lull, so we can't really do much there. But there is a reason why fantasy gurus or self-proclaimed or not um, do a lot of content. Actually, they're starting now, right? Um, and then they really push for it during November. Because by January, if we as a project do anything by January, bookmark this. It's too late, right? It's just going to be yeah. too late. There's uh, people have already decided. People have already paid in. People have already like you know done what they need to do by by uh, January. So yeah, I'm saying it. Like you know, I'm, I'm predicting it. I hope I'm wrong, but I hope that. Um, but I also hope that and thankful that you're doing what you're doing so that people don't for, forget about it and people start to really um, consider MLB through all of these like manager. Um, stories and and just getting to know the game through the people. Oh, that's another mm. one, right? Like, like like yeah, get to know my stories so that you know if it resonates, great, right? Like so, you poorer people <laughs> can resonate with me because like I don't have the gallery that some people have. I don't have a brave stack. I have one brave, Ozuna, because he's a former Cardinal. That's it, <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> um yeah. yeah like like hopefully like people resonate with like what you're doing you know like during the off seasons so that people can actually learn that way and then consider mlb because it is a concern yeah 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 very well said and um i can definitely see your your love of the community and, and uh, you're very vocal about you know some changes you want to see made so i really appreciate you saying that it all makes a lot of sense um i think um that was that was a good way to to maybe close the pod. We are closing in on an hour. Time has seemed to be uh, flying here, but uh, we, we, really? we touched upon some really good stuff. Was there anything else uh, you wanted to to share? Maybe before we uh, we can close this out. Um. Well, aside the obvious of if if anyone out there is just randomly seeing this on YouTube or, or I don't even know where um, where you're going to see this, but if you do have a question about um so rare like reach out to hunter like he'll 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 actually like respond right speaking of like caring for the community um i've i've personally missed a lot of lineups because um at the last second someone's pinging me and i'm like oh god um and this is gonna sound arrogant hunter but but for real like it, the reason i'm willing to do that instead of my lineup is because i me i'm pretty confident that i could make that up that's arrogant. I understand, but that's me, right? Like, like that's just my thinking about it. I'm just like, you know, I'm gonna be able to make make that up. But this person here, like, if if they don't like win anything and they, and they keep getting nothing, they're gonna leave, right? And yeah. selfishly, we have bags in so rare, right? Like, you know, that's that's in a way protecting the bag. But it's also honestly like I just want people to to like love it the way we do, right? So. For for those of you that are new and like listening, like Ping Hunter, make sure like he doesn't have time to sleep. <laughs> All off season, he thinks it's an off season. Make it not an off season. Make it work. Yeah. No, I absolutely appreciate that. I love when people DM me and, and Nick and you know have questions about baseball and and really just baseball fans at the end of the day. And we like you know having a, a platform to make you know watching baseball and being invested with the game more enjoyable. And that's kind of yeah. you know what's so rare has been for for me. So. So yeah, absolutely appreciate appreciate that. Uh, now I'll be flooded with with DMs uh, after. This I hope so. Me, you guys so. better, <laughs> you know. But hey, I'm I'm down for that. Um, all right, well, uh, AJ, it's been awesome having you yeah, on. Uh, really, really appreciate you taking the time out of your day. And um, yeah, tell the people where they can find Bat Vantage. Maybe they can find you uh, on on Twitter X. You know, where can they find your your sober account? They can make some trades with you. Tell the people. Yeah, so I um, actually don't know, but I do know my ex. I think it's called My So Rare Journey because I'm really clever and really brilliant. <laughs> so M-Y-S-O-R-A-R-E and then Journey, right? And I don't actually know. Go to that bio and then click whatever link is in there because um, I'm sure YouTube is like Bat Vantage, B-A-T, Vantage. And it's probably that for Substack. 
<laughs> I legit don't know, man. <laughs> so just go to the profile. Love it. Yeah, just find AJ on, on Twitter. You should be set. Um, <laughs> all right, well, thank you, everyone, for watching. We'll be back next week with another guest, and uh, we will see you guys next time. Thanks, man.